Welcome to another edition of Positively Incorrect TV. This is your host, Scott Cluthy. Positively Incorrect brings you the best in health, relationships, new topics and trends, breakthrough business ideas, and the world's best intuitives, and a lot more. Now, later, I have yet another edition of the PINN News Update with Jay Scott. And Seymour Foxhole emerges from the black hole with another social commentary. But today, it is great to welcome to the Positively Incorrect Studios, Dr. Nancy White. Nancy, great to see you. Thank you, Scott. It's great to be here. A little about Nancy for our listeners. Uh, she is one of the co-founders of the Unique Mind Center, formerly known as the Enhancement Institute, located right here in Houston, Texas, where they synthesize traditional psychology with state-of-the-art technology into a holistic treatment for the enhancement of the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. And Dr. Nancy White holds a Ph.D. in clinical psychology, an M.A. in behavioral science, and a B.F.A. in fine arts. And I've got to figure out how that all fits in. But in addition, she is licensed in the state of Texas as a psychologist, a marriage and family therapist, and as a chemical dependency counselor. And Nancy, I have to say, in your role with the Unique Mind Center, Every aspect of that work comes to play every day, doesn't it? Absolutely, and it's Unique Mind Care. Well, it shows you what I know. It's a new name for me, too. Yeah. Unique Mind Care, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's right. Now, you have, I mean, I've known you now for well over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And you have always had a high focus on the natural healing, the use of uh, psychology, psychotherapy, the, the work with working with using natural methodology for dealing what in our culture traditionally has been medicated. Right. Specifically around, in particular, ADD and ADHD. Right. What is the short uh, answer of what ADD really is, Nancy? Well, it's hard to give a short answer and make it full, but sure. I would say it's a catch-all term for people that don't pay attention well. They are distractible. They are uh, impulsive. They are um, always going here and there and rarely finishing. And this is a big, this condition isn't like, like something unique. So many people, or especially younger children, have this condition, but it's not necessarily diagnosed properly. Is that what you say? Well, I, used to be it was something very specific when it started out being a big diagnosis about 20 years ago. It was too much slow wave for not enough fast wave. What I've observed in the last few years, now we have the same symptomology where it's too much fast wave and not enough slow wave, and I think that's because uh, we've overused video games and over-focused on video games, and well. now we can no longer, it's, it's really about being able to shift state easily, to shift attention, to flow with attention, and, and to be at the kind of attention that we need for that task at hand. And that has all changed in the patterning. And when we come back, uh, we're going to talk about what Nancy means by fast waves, slow waves, because that's sort of the basis of the whole conversation as we talk more about um, all the work they're doing at the Unique Mind Care. Care. Unique Mind Care, also formerly known as the Enhancement Institute. Your host, Scott Cluthy, here on Positively Incorrect TV. Stay with me, won't you? Welcome back. Scott Cluthy, your host for Positively Incorrect TV. And don't forget, by the way, you can see all of our programs at phonoscopemedia.com. You want to check that out. And uh, later in the show, we have some PINN news update with Jay Scott and Seymour Foxhole live from the black hole. But today, a great on honor to have Dr. Nancy White from Unique Mind Care here. Nancy, it's great to see you. Thank you, Scott. It's always great to be here. Now, we were talking about ADD and the mm -hmm. condition, mm -hmm. and you started talking about slow waves and fast waves. Most people think ADD, uh, you give the kid a pill. What is it about slow waves and fast waves? What kind of waves are we talking about, and how can we do this naturally? Well, we're talking about the fact that the brain works electrically and chemically, and when we monitor it electrically with an EEG or an electroencephalogram, what we see is we see sine waves. 
And to find the frequency of those sine waves, you count the peaks of the waves in a one second period of time. That gives you hertz, cycles per second, our frequency all mean the same thing. And that we call brain waves. And, and so, so if it's too much slow or too much fast, it's a problem. So the first thing is we have to have a baseline on what, what are we looking at? What's each individual's pattern? Exactly. And so that's why you use the EEG within your offices. That's right. Okay. We always do a quantitative EEG, which is a computerized EEG, and that gives us what the pattern of that brain is. And we also have a very well-validated uh, database of people with super healthy brains that the computer software will compare that data with the data of a group within a few months of that group's age. And then we can get standard deviations from the norm and the patterns and so forth. So then a lot of people have to say, well, that, that sounds pretty wild, Dr. White, uh, EEGs and all that, but can this work? I mean, you know, I know that when so-and-so Timmy was acting up and the doctor gave me this prescription and now I give it to Timmy and Timmy is so, what a wonderful child he is now. <laughs> so it's, you can't take a pill and have this happen. What kind of a realistic model is there for working with the EEG and then the, the, uh, the other very unique protocol you work with there on really establishing and, and making some changes? How long does this take? Well, it, it's various because it depends on the site of the problem. It depends on how adaptable that brain is, how flexible the brain is, how quickly it takes in and learns. So it's hard to say, but generally speaking with what we call neurofeedback, because that's what you're talking about, which is training with an EEG and a feedback system, um, that's going to usually be give or take around 40 sessions. Um, so it, but it can change. And some people like, we even do, do people with head injuries and sometimes they really? take more. Uh, the autistic will take a lot more sessions, but some people with just minor things that want peak performance, it takes maybe a little less. And so really there's also uh, a way to use this just for, that's why you had the original name enhancement, wasn't it? Yes. It wasn't just about trying to get well uh, biologically, psychologically, spiritually, is about enhancing where we are right. and increasing our capability. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I hope we can touch more of it here uh, with Dr. Nancy White and uh, from Unique uh, Brain Mind Care. Unique Mind Care. This is tough for me, Nancy, but I'm working on it. Maybe my brain waves are off today. Unique Mind Care here on Positively Incorrect TV with your host Scott Cluthy. Stay with us, won't you? Be right back. <laughs>